Hello everyone. Greetings from PMG Engineering. Today I shall be taking you through the wine manufacturing process. Vinification is the term given to production of wine. As you can see over here, I shall be giving you a brief intro to the wine and its type before moving to the manufacturing process. So let's start the intoxicating journey. Wine making dates back around for thousands of years. Vinification or also known as wine making is a natural process requiring very minimum human intervention. Categorized as an alcoholic drink, almost all wine is manufactured using grapes. Sugar in the grapes get consumed by the yeast and is converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide while releasing certain amount of heat during the process. Different varieties of grapes and strains of yeast have a major impact on the different styles of wine. Winemaking is hence not just an art but there is a lot of science involved in the process. A little variance and little deviation at any point in the process makes the wine processing interesting. With deviation we mean here the classification and wine can be either still, sparkling, fortified and aromatized wines. Though name tells us all, we will be going in little bit more depth for understanding. Wines which have no carbonation in them are referred to as still wines. The three types of them are red, white and rose. Red wine which is normally known to be a dry wine are fermented with the skin of red grapes and gets its distinctive color. Second is white wine, produced using white grapes that is fermentation without its skin. Third is a rose wine. It is manufactured either by fermenting the red grapes with skin on for 48 hours or by mixing red and white wine together or by pressing grapes so that the color is extracted. Next in line is sparkling wine. These are carbonated wines. Carbonation can either be purely natural or can be artificially injected. The most common one in this category is champagne. This is made by secondary fermentation in the bottle. Coming to the fortified wines, they have quite a high alcoholic content and thanks to the addition of distilled spirit. This gives the peculiar taste and aroma to wine which are liked by many. Many a times to acquire characteristic aroma and taste, wines are mixed with certain herbs and spices. These are aromatic wines and generally are white wines. Many of us have not tried this delicacy. But the ones who have been through the fabulous taste knows it well. Even if you fall on the either of the category, wine drinker or non-drinker, you might have felt the urge to know how these wines are manufactured. Well then, we have reached to the highlight of the presentation, where we shall be coming along various wine manufacturing steps. Broadly, the step includes harvesting of grapes, crushing and pressing them and leaving for fermentation process. The fermented product is then clarified and kept for aging. Harvesting or picking is certainly the first step in the actual wine making process. The process of making wine requires that the grapes are harvested at a precise time, preferably psychologically ripe. An appropriate variety of fruits and berries harvested define the taste and quality of the final product. Crushing the whole cluster of fresh ripe grapes is traditionally the next step in wine making process. Today, mechanical crushers perform the time honored tradition of stomping or trodding the grapes into what is commonly referred to as a must. Having said all this, it is important to note that not all wine begins life in a crusher. After harvesting, all grapes are usually transferred to the winery by truck for crushing and the press juice or must is pumped or gravity flowed into large temperature controlled tanks for fermentation. During fermentation, natural and added yeast metabolizes the grape sugar into ethanol and carbon dioxide. It is a time taking process and fermentation typically lasts over 1 to 5 weeks. Clarification means filtering and fining. Filtration is a well-known term, but what about fining? So, fining is a process of addition of substances to wine to clarify them. Filtration can be done with everything 
from coarse filter that catches only large solid to a sterile filter pad that strips wine of all lines. Now is aging and bottling, the final but the most important step in the wine preparation, which has an impact on the final taste of the wine. Further, aging can be done in the bottle, stainless steel or ceramic tanks, large wooden ovals or small barrels, commonly known as barracks. All facets of wine production must be carefully controlled to create a quality wine. Variables such as the speed with which harvested grapes are crushed, the temperature and the timing during both fermentation and aging, the percentage of sugar and acid in the harvested grapes and the amount of sulfur dioxide added during fermentation all have a tremendous impact on the quality of the finished wine. With this, we came to the end of this topic. Hope you all have enjoyed throughout the presentation. Looking forward to meet you again with another topic. Thank you.